Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Vesper's Retro Reviews. I'm Ramses, and I'm here to bring you another game in our baseball retrospective, and this time we got a good one. One of my favorite games of all time, I remember playing this so much on my Amiga that I owned. This is Earl Weaver Baseball from 1987, one of the best baseball games ever made. It was made by Electronic Arts, yep, that same company that makes the Madden series. This was going to be their next Madden type series with... Earl Weaver is their baseball icon, but it didn't go that way. That's another story in itself. But yes, this is one of the best baseball games ever, and we definitely have to have it in our baseball retrospective. And look at that. It has a great load-up screen, shows screens of Earl Weaver, nicely uh, digitized images here. It has Earl Weaver's signature. This was made by Eddie Dombrower and Mirage Graphics, as it says here. Eddie Dombrower is the main person behind this. He's the one that talked to Earl Weaver. He came up with the whole idea of making the perfect baseball game for a computer. And I can't wait to show this to you. I am very excited. So, yep, you gotta wait for it to load. On the Amiga, there was a lot of loading times to get all the graphics set up and everything. If you tried to go too quickly, the game would either crash or not be perfectly synced up. So even now, when it says push any button, you really should wait until the whole routine ends here with the fun triumphant music and get used to this music because you'll be hearing it any time something exciting in the game happens so there we go okay music's done so now you can actually push the button to start the game and i think that's what we'll do here i'll give it another few seconds and there we go so now you're going to get to this screen here and this is going to be where you decide what you want to do in the game there's a lot of options in this game this is like a baseball simulator this is a baseball fans dream this game look at all the things you can do you have home teams visiting teams you can use different controls so right now you have to use the yep there you go the keyboard to set the joystick that's what this little computer icon is. You use the arrows to move that around, and now I have the joystick. So I have a regular joystick. The Amiga used a regular standard one-button joystick for every game. So it doesn't matter how many buttons are on it, only use one button for every game. And you can manage, you can have Earl manage with the computer, you can play hard level, which is major league. You can do full at bats, you can do one pitches, leagues, non-leagues, arcade modes, regulation games. Uh, it, it's so many options. You can do DH only, you can select the ballpark. Uh, everything you can think of, they, they put into this early game here. And then, of course, the visiting team could be either the computer, which is Earl Managers. I have it set to that. And you could change their level. I'm going to have them on the same level I'm playing. And you can play against another player if they have another controller plugged in. It, it's just so intense what you can do in this game. Look at all the teams you have here by default. You have all throughout the years. So you have American League from the early 1900s to 1930s, all the way down to National League of 61 to 1975. And then they have an extra league where you can add your own teams. That was another cool thing. You can actually build your own teams here. And then look at this. There was an expansion disc. So this is the 1988 expansion. All the teams from 1988 are here. Look at this. Every single team that was in actual Major League Baseball. There's an expansion disc that you bought separately, by the way. So all the actual players and stats and everything from 1988, I think it was made in 1987, so it might be 87 stats, but still, it was around that time period, 87, 88, and he got every single team, Major League Baseball, and it was wonderful, and of course, I'm a Mets fan, so yes, this time I am going to use the New York Mets of 1987-1988, and look at that, Shea Stadium loaded up as the ballpark by default, isn't that cool? So you can set everything. Now, the problem with this, there's a problem with this ballpark. Shea Stadium was not green, all right? I don't know why they think it was, but we can fix that. We go to commissioner mode here. Look at this. You click on commissioner. It takes a little bit to load up. It's thinking. Here we go. And there you go. And now we can actually change all these things. Look at that. You can change the leads. You can change the teams. You can change the ballpark. You can clear your stats and start over, erase everything day off if you want to skip a day you can do everything you think of in a schedule but we're just customizing the ballpark here so yep i'm gonna find shea stadium it's in the, look at this every single american league stadium here look at that and even extras weaver stadium real park they had some extras they have polo grounds which is the old school Mets stadium we're gonna to go to shea stadium which is uh, right over where did it yep there it is and we don't want green walls shea stadium was known for its wonderful mets blue walls so let's change it to mets and there it is. Nice blue. It's not exactly... Mets had a darker blue. This is more of a lighter blue, but... Yeah, that looks more like Shea Stadium, or at least as well as you can do in a 1987 game. Yeah, that's not Shea Stadium screaming at you, but the walls and the dimensions are accurate. Now the color is accurate. I have no idea why it came with green walls, but now it's blue and I'm happy. So there we go. So now we can actually use Shea Stadium as our 
home stadium. Very exciting. So yeah, this is a great game. You can see why so many people loved this growing up. This was the ultimate baseball fans dream game. And now I'm going to pick the team to play against. Let's see. Well, I am playing as the Mets, and back then you didn't just play any team, you usually played teams that were in your own division, and uh, we had a huge rivalry against the Atlanta Braves, so I think that's going to be it. It's going to be the New York Mets against the Atlanta Braves. So look at this, you can pick Atlanta, there you go, and you have Atlanta loads right up, but you know, I think I want an even better rivalry. The Mets versus the Atlanta Braves is a great rivalry, but I'm going to pick the Philadelphia Phillies. Now that's a rivalry, New York versus Philadelphia, we were always battling it out. Look at this, you can do practice mode, you can change the uh, player. So if I want to draft a player, retire a player, move a player, you can trade with any of the teams. So you can really customize your team. If you want all the best players on your team, you pretty much could do that. I don't know why you would, that wouldn't make it fun. But if you want to do that, you can. You can clone players, you can do everything you could think of in this game. It is a really amazing. And let's see, what else? They have stats here. So display stats. Let's load that up. So yeah, if you want to actually make like a real league out of this, you could print the stats and uh, have it with all your friends and you could show, oh, your player's doing this, you might want to trade it, or oh, this one's leading in home runs. So yeah, to load up everything here, we just clicked on a random one, the strikeouts, and look at that. So Roger Clemens had 291 strikeouts uh, for a season, Frank Viola, who became a Met eventually, he was pretty good too. So yeah, there you go, you have so many options in this game, they, they really thought of everything that you might want to do with this game besides just play the game of baseball. I can't stress enough how intense this game was and how exciting it was when I first got Earl Weaver Baseball on my Amiga 500. I think it was 1000 actually I got this and then eventually the 500 I played it on also. But enough talking, I think it is time to play ball, as the huge capital letters stress us to do. Alright, so now we're loading up. This is going to be exciting. I haven't played this in so long. I can't wait to get back into this. This is my favorite game of all time. So there you go. So the computer picked uh, Gross as their starting pitcher. That's fine. And now we're going to pick our starting pitcher. We have David Cohn, Bobby Ojeda, Dwight Gooden. It's going with Ojeda. You know something? No. I think I want to go David Cohn. Yeah, he was one of my favorites. We have Gooden, Darling, Fernandez. Oh, all the greats. This is so much fun. So the computer's going to pick their lineup. There you go. Up, oh, Schmidt. Mike Schmidt. He was one of the best. Sam Well, I remember him. He was another former Met. And now we got... Uh, we can either ask Earl or do it ourselves. We'll ask Earl and then maybe I'll make some changes. No, you know what I'm saying? I think I'll do it myself. I remember who I liked. Mookie Wilson. He was our leadoff. He was great. And then, let's see. We had... Who was our second batter? I believe it is... Wally Backman. That's right. Put him as our second baseman. And then our third should be Keith Hernandez. There he is. Yep, it's all coming back to me. The great Met lineup. And of course, clean up Daryl Strawberry. You can't go better than Strawberry. He was the best at the time. Kevin McReynolds. Yep. Uh, who was next? Oh yeah, Howard Johnson. One of my favorite players. Great. Gary Carter. I mean, come on. This is Gary Carter, one of the best catchers of all time. He was on the Mets at this time. And then our number eight, hmm, what do we need, a shortstop? I guess we can go Kevin Elster, or do we want Greg Jeffries? Yeah, I'll go Greg Jeffries and change him to shortstop. They were around the same, Jeffries was sort of hit and miss. Yeah, we'll go, oops, let's see, that's what you have to do. So you can change any position, so now I have two shortstops. Look at this, and I will change Gary back to a catcher. I don't think he should be playing shortstop. And there we go, they got our ultimate lineup. I'm very excited, this is my favorite Met lineup of all time. Here we go. And there, you have a bullpen for later use. You can put the pitch in the bullpen. You can look at all the stats and see who you want to use at any time. So many options, a lot of fun. And you can imagine how much fun this was. I remember playing with my friends all the time. It was very competitive. It was really just so baseball intense. And there we go. See, now we have a computer. Announcing the pitcher and the player. How cool is that? So you pit to pitch, you just push the button. Oh, and we start off with a hitter. Right? Like I said, I'm very rusty. So look at this. They're going to stretch that out into a double. So to pitch, you pretty much just hold the button down, direct what direction you want, and then release it. It's as simple as that. They're going to announce every batter now with this computer-generated voice. So cool. And that was a curveball. Oh, there we go. They tried to steal a base, and I quickly threw the third. So there you go. One out. The computer's going to do that a lot. computer loved stealing base. I remember that Earl was really... And you call it Earl because you're supposed to be playing against Earl, quote-unquote. There you go. Oh, another hit. All right, so David Cohn's not off to a good start here. 
but it, we held him to a single. There we go. And you see in the display up there, it's going to show you H for hit. So it even keeps, gives you the letters if you're keeping score at home. You can actually uh, see how it was. So they're going to announce every player pitching. You have many options. Look at this. You can see how fast the pitch was. You push buttons. You can see was the pitch in the strike zone or out of the strike zone. And there we go again. Let's see. Ah, right up the middle. Almost got the double play. All right. So two outs, one man on. Yep, this is great. It's just like I remember. So many options. You can uh, push all the buttons around here, and you can like just look at all the stats that you want. Up, oh, they're stealing a base. Wow, and we got him. Yep, you can't steal on Gary. He's good at that. All right, so there we go. They had two hits, but we caught him stealing. So now we're at bat. There you go. It's Kevin Gross versus Mookie Wilson. I love the announcing. I, I love when they do stuff like that. This is so such a big deal that you could do this back then you don't understand in 1987 for the computer to be able to announce everything was great i just pushed another button there where i got earl's advice see you can even like get earl what should i do he said swing away all right there we go another pitch which was a strike all right let's see what happens here oh that was a bouncer all right good thing i took it it's hard to tell balls in this game i remember that you get used to it but i haven't played in so long it's gonna take a while to get used to that game Let's see, will it drop in? Yes, leadoff single from Wookie Wilson. And there you go, H for hit. Ah, uh, Wally back on, yep, another one of my favorites. So you can turn on other modes here. So let's see, you can do aggression, you can do bunt. This is for when Earl manages, but you can give ideas for what you want to do. Right now, all I can do is aggressive, which means I want them running when I hit. So I want them to be very aggressive, keep moving on these bases. And it works, see? He ran right away. He's gonna hold a second. There we go. Alright, two men on, no outs. We're doing well so far. Two hits. Oh, his number was just recently retired, by the way. So, uh, this is definitely a Mets All-Star. I'm gonna turn aggression off. We have two men on, no outs. No reason to overdo it. Let's see if Keith can get a hit here. That's the idea. You hold the button down. And then you release when you want to swing. So, it's as simple as that. You hold the button down. And you release it, and you can direct your bat too while doing that. So there are some options here. Up, oh, and now we run back by pushing up or right on the controller. Yep, they caught it, so I'm running back. I push back to first base, and it goes back to first. Simple as that. Play control is pretty good. Up, oh, we got our all star here, Daryl Strawberry. And let's see, do we want to turn aggression back on? Yep, we'll turn aggression back on. We have Strawberry up. We can go for it here. Alright, and here's the pitch. Oh, I swung at a bad one. Okay. Oh, boy. Come on, Daryl, don't let us down. It was actually a strike, though. See, I just pushed the check the strike pitch, and it was 82 miles per hour. Oh, and I swung at a sunker. Okay, so there you go. Two outs, two men on. And as you heard, it's Kevin McReynolds. So let's see, we'll keep aggressive on, it's two outs, why not? We've got nothing to lose here. Oh boy. Alright, is it a hit? Yes. Alright, base is loaded. So we couldn't get him home, but now we have bases loaded, two outs, so we need another hit here. And it's Howard Johnson, one of my favorite players. At this time, he wasn't doing as well. You can see he's betting 230 here, 24 home runs. He was still a home run hitter, though. But he did, his better days were definitely behind. He says to swing away. I just clicked on the button to see what Earl thought. He said, swing away. All right, so I guess that's the advice. Just go for it. All right, foul ball. Oh, another foul. All right, that was high. Come on, Hojo, get a hit. Uh, no, they caught it. All right, so that was an exciting first inning. We had bases loaded, but like the typical bets, uh, we left runners stranded with no runs. All right, so that was first inning. Here we go, we're entering the second inning. Oh, and they got their best. Mike Schmidt is up, so let's see. I think his better days were behind him too. You can see by the stats, he wasn't doing as well as he used to. 
249, 12 home runs, not as great as it could have been. All right, we're throwing 86 miles per hour. All right, but he got a hit. Good for him. All right, so one man on for the Phillies. All right, Bradley's up. Let's try a curveball here. Yep, that was good. Oh, they're stealing again. Gary, get him. Yes, we got him. They keep trying to steal on Gary. Nope, he's a great he's great at throwing out. Alright, one ball, two strikes. So you click all different buttons, as I said. If you want to see like uh, how fast they throw, you click uh, R for radar gun. See, so it's like they kind of give you letters that should equal out what you're looking for. If you want to ask the umpire something, you click U, and he'll say how the pitch was. You know, things like that. You can check the wind displays by pushing W. You can even do a timeout by pushing T and the game will pause. You can ask Earl with the home team H button, visitor team, ask Earl V button. So they made it very simple. And you can even do this. See, I just pushed the C button and now I'll have a conference. How's the arm? Arm feels great. He's a little wild right now. He's throwing 18 pitches. So that's your way to calm your pitcher down because he just walked the player. So I'm like, all right, talk to him. So they had a conference and now they're stealing again. They are very aggressive with the computer. And we got him again. I don't know why they keep stealing, but I am playing on pro level. So that's what they do. They try to... Uh, really uh, be aggressive. I don't know why they're over aggressive because that's a f silly mistake, but yeah See they just cost them. There you go three outs because they stole on silly plays, but that's the computer for you All right, so we got out of that Now we have one of our best Gary Carter again his better days were behind him also, but he's still Gary Carter So we're gonna give him the shot here. Oh, and I swung at an outside pitch Here's the next pitch. Oh, I don't know if that was good or bad. I should check, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was bad. So I just took you and the ump said, nope, it was out of the strike zone. So I'm like, all right. Oh, yeah, but Gary's slow. He's the catcher. So, yeah, he's not going to outrun that. See, faster players can run out uh, those type of things by a catcher, you know. And they have speed set to every player. Like I said, it's very stat intensive. You can see every player has different speeds and different running and different abilities. And some will make errors more than not. They really tried to think of everything here with the stats in this game. So it even shows you their running speed. See in the top right corner there, R5. That's out of nine. So he's a five runner when nine is the fastest, one is the slowest. So they even tell you how fast each player is when they're at bat. And the F under the pitcher is fatigue. So he has an eight out of nine. So he's a, he's a starting pitcher. He has a high fatigue. Right, let's see if Greg can go in. Nope, foul ball. So the umps announce uh, fouls and outs and strikes and safe and all that stuff. That's it. And then the computer voice will do all the announcing. And that's the pop-up. There you go. He's out. All right, so we got our pitcher up, and of course the pitcher's not going to be a great batter. He's batting 151, no home runs, runs at three. So yeah, this should be an easy out, and it is. There you go, pop up to the center field, and there you go, one, two, three. All right, so we move into the third inning. It's a pretty close game. We have 0-0. Zero, zero. We each had three hits, and that's about it. Lance Parrish is now up. He's pretty good, too. It's Or at least used to be. Yeah, his better days are behind him, too. A lot of uh, older players here on these teams, as you can see. Players went a lot longer in the uh, old days where they kept them around a lot past their primes, you know? So, yeah, easy strikeout. This guy's days are... Okay, now we have Jolts up. And he's not doing very well either. Boy, I, I don't remember the Phillies being that bad this year. I guess uh, they had some not-so-great players. I don't remember the Phillies uh, being bad that year, but I guess they were. I guess it was the Braves that were the good team along with the Mets in the NL East. All right, there you go. He got a nice bloop single. Okay. Oh, there you go. And now the pitcher's up. So the bottom of their lineup, not very good. So they're going to try to do a sacrifice bunt. Yep, I'm just going to allow it. So you got the SH sacrifice hit, and it worked perfectly. And now you got their leadoff man, Hayes. And he's pretty good, so we have to be careful here. This might be a bad situation. Two outs, one man on second. Their leadoff man is up. All right, two strikes. Come on, David. Let's get him out of here. Let's try some trickery. Oh, it just got by the third baseman. All right, let's hope they don't score on this. Come on, throw it home. It's going to be close for us. Oh, they did the cutoff, man. All right, there you go. Philly took the lead. And let's see if they count that as a hit or a double. They count it as a hit because they advanced on the uh, throw on my play. All right, so there you go. Philly took the lead on that. 
nice hit, but they stretched it into a two baser. And now we gotta try to stop the damage. Alright, they're stealing again. Let's see if we get them. Oh, stolen base. Well, we might get out of this. Alright, we got out of the damage. Alright, so one nothing Philly now. Top of our lineup is up, so here we go again. That's right, Mookie Wilson's up, as the announcer just said. So now we gotta see if we can get something going. Oh, that was a good pitch. Alright, come on. Alright, right up the middle. There you go, that's a good leadoff hit. That'll hopefully set some things into motion. Alright, come on Wally, let's keep the hits coming. I'm gonna go aggressive mode again. I think we gotta get something uh, started here. They just got a, a run, and I wanna get that run back, if not more. Oh, I swung at a bad pitch that was inside. Oh, foul ball. Alright, 0 2 already. Come on, Wally. We need a hit. All right, a little bloop. Can I advance the runner here? No. All right, so fielder's choice. That's what FC means. It means they could choose which race they want. We got one on, but they got the out also. All right, Keith Hernandez up. Progressive mode. Yeah, we'll turn it off. All right, so here we go. Ah, uh, that was a wobbler. Here's the pitch. Okay, another hit. Good. Two men on. This is great. We have Daryl Strawberry up. Let's see if he can get a hit and we can get on the board here. This is a great situation to be in. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. This is exciting. This is like a real baseball game. Oh, I would love a home run here. All right, let's see what happens. Any hit, I'll take it. Swing away. If you get the jump steal. See, he loves stealing, Earl. Nope. I'm not stealing. I, I want just the run right now. I'm going to play it safe here. All right, come on. Look for that pitch. Here we go. Uh, outside. outside. See, as the ump said, it was high and outside. Here we go. All right, Daryl, let's get a hit now. I would love a home run here. Oh, it's going. Going. Hit deep to center. And there it goes. And it's out of here. All right. I, I, I can't believe he actually did it. Wow. See, that's what a real uh, cleanup hitter does. Daryl Strawberry. Yes, he comes to like that all the time. Three run, home run. We just took the lead. Three to one. Thanks to his home run. This is great. And you know what we're going to do? Watch this. I, I remember... Instant replay. Yes, there is a push the I button and you can watch it again. Let's see that again. So they zoom in a little bit. It'll be, yeah, more zoomed up look at it. And there you go. As I said, it hit deep to center. Going, going, gone. Wow, now that's clutch. I tell you, Daryl Strawberry. Oh, those are such good times. He did exactly what he just did here. He would men on. He would just swing, and the ball would just fly right out of the out of the stadium like that. Great times. So yeah, you could do instant replays and watch it again. So many options in this game. A lot of fun. So now we just took the lead, three to one. Very exciting. I'm happy. Let's see if we can keep it going. Come on, McReynolds. It's up to you now. Let's get another hit here. Oh, he swung it a bit. Yep, that was a bad one. So you push the ump, and you can see how fast. You can see he was on deck. There's another button here. You can see Howard Johnson's on deck. Oh, and they dropped the ball. That happens a lot, too. The ball will pass the pitcher. So they try to make it a little realistic with the balls, not just automatically always going back to the pitcher every single time. Ah, oh, so I'm going to another bad pitch. All right, I think I'm still on that high from that home run. That was so exciting. I didn't expect it. Yeah, it was a bad pitch. All right, so let's see. Howard Johnson, one of my favorite players. Let's see if he can get another hit here. No, nope, that's outside. I think that was a bad pitch, too. Yep. Hard to tell. The ball kind of looks like it's about to go straight and then just flies out at the last second. Oh, and that one looked bad, and it was a strike. See, you never know. Oh, boy. All right. Well, we got our lead, so I'm happy about that. 3-1, to one, thanks to Daryl Strawberry. And now we head to the top of the fourth inning with the Mets leading the Phillies 3-1. to one. All right, so now James is up. Let's see what happens. All right. Got him with the curve. 
Now, I don't know what you guys think of the graphics. I think the graphics are good, but they're not... What's the right word? Great. You know, they're good, but not great. Like, you can definitely see the players, and they have uniform colors, and the stadiums look cool, and they have dots for the, the uh, fans watching the game. But there's no facial features on anyone. Like, see, look here. You see on the picture, he just has two eyes on a, on a circle. So it's not, like, uh, very gravely intense. But I think it does the job well enough. You know, I don't think the graphics are great, but I think it definitely pulls off what they're trying to accomplish with the limited uh, specification that the game can handle. They pack so much into the game, things have to get cut out. So, of course, you're not going to get, you know, what we would have in today's graphics with very realistic players. But I think they tried to do what they can here. Oh, it's hit to right. That should be an out. There you go. Two outs. So I'm going to say the graphics are good, but not great. And I think that would be the downside to this game, that it could be graphically better. Like, you know, even Super Nintendo games looked a little better than this, I have to be honest. But I think if you want, like, a baseball general manager game or a commissioner game where you're really taking control of every aspect of the stats and the leagues and all that, this is the game to play at the time. That You couldn't get better than this. But graphically, no. Oh, we strung him out. But graphically, no, this is not the best game. And I think that's the only downside. I think I like everything else, but the graphics definitely need a little work. We have to remember it was one disc, and it was limited because of that. If they made this a two-disc game, eh, they might have been able to stretch it out a little bit. But remember, it was on those floppy discs. I think I showed you the picture at the beginning of this video, the, the floppy, the mini floppy disc that these games used to come on. But no, graphics don't really matter that much. The gameplay speaks for itself here. There's so many options, and it's pretty much a batter and a, and a fielder and a pitcher. I mean, what else do you need? It, it does it well enough. Alright, Greg Jeffries is up. So let's try to get another hit here. Come on. Alright, so I saw the wobbler this time. I'm getting a little more used to it. I remember there was signs on how you can tell if it's a ball or strike, but it's been so long I can't remember all of it. Yeah, let's see if I can get a walk. Well, well, I'll swing if it's a good pitch. Let's see. I know it's always hard to tell. Yeah, see, like that was a good pitch. It's it's hard to tell. All right, we'll sneak through. No, gobble that one right up. All right, and our pitcher is up again, David Cohn. We'll see what happens. Let's try for a little blue pit or something. Oh no, a pop up. <laughs> I thought it was gonna go that way and it just popped right out and they caught it. Oh well, that's our picture for you, right? There we go, another uh, soon to be met, Juan Samuel. Another one of our great trades that we made, uh, not really. But Samuel was good for his time, but not good on the Mets, that's for sure. Alright, got him with the curve. Another curve. There you go. Hey, not bad. Slider on that one. <laughs> Alright, Lance Parrish is up. Let's see what he does. So the bottom of their lineup, not very good. And that's the good thing. Because now we can pad our lead a little bit if possible and hopefully hold him down in this inning, the fifth inning. That's right, we're in the top of the fifth. Mets leading 3-1. to one. Uh, let's see, is it going, going, going? No. Caught at the outfield, uh, at the track, as they say, and it's caught. Alright, so we stopped it. Alright, Jeltz is up, not one of their better hitters. Yep, up the middle. Alright, so they got a hit. So now we're tied with hits, 6 and 6. But we'll take that over what that previous one could have been. That could have been out of the park, that other one. Okay, so now we should be able to get out of this. Unless they get a lucky hit. Pitchers get hits in this game too, so anyone can get a hit in this game. Oh, they're stealing though. Let's see, we got them. No, I was late on the throw, yeah. That was a stolen booze. But it didn't matter. <laughs> we struck the pitcher out looking. Alright, so back to the top of our lineup now as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Let's see if we can start it again, what we started last time in the third inning. Alright, foul ball. 
Now these newer stadiums are a little weird because the balls will go farther than the walls if you notice. Like you see those foul balls, they're sort of like flying. Oh, that should be an out. Yep, easy out. They're sort of flying and making the wall sound as they hit the crowd. So yeah, these custom stadiums in the newer expansion disc, they weren't uh, accurate. But it worked for what it was. You have to remember, we're adding on all this information to an already existing game with these expansion teams and stadiums and everything. Which was really cool. They had like so many different options that you could do in this game. You could buy a commissioner. Oh, that might be a bloop single. Yes, it is. Good. You can buy a commissioner's disc where you can do even more options and create your own stadiums and uh, your own teams and players. And I, I mean, there was so many expansion discs you can get besides just teams. You can get the you know commissioner's disc and make changes. And they had uh, Earl Weaver 2, which eventually came out. So yeah, this was a series. They were really trying to make this into something, but it didn't work out for whatever reason. So we only have two Earl Weaver games, but... Look at that, they even have balks in this game. So yeah, the pitcher just threw a balk, that's what BK means there, and I get the base automatically, that's really cool. So they even have balks, you don't see that often in regular games where they're calling a balk. Alright, let's see, we can advance the runner on this. Yep, we did, alright, so that balk helped us, we got the runner over to third, but now it's two outs. But our big man is up again, Gerald Strawberry. So yeah, if you want to look at a classic baseball game, look at Earl Weaver Baseball on the Amiga. They had a P- oh. Pass ball. Let's see. We're going to go for it. No, they got the ball. Ah. All right. Well, we had to try it, right? That, that, that's Like I said, this is so realistic. If you want to look at a good baseball game, look at the one on the Amiga. It was on PC, and I think it might have been on Apple and other systems, but the Amiga version is the version to go with. The others didn't have the announcers, and it looked a little weird. This was the uh, definitive version of Earl Weaver Baseball on the Amiga. But it was all over the place. Other systems had it, so you can look at uh, the DOS and other versions just to get a taste of what this was like. All right, let's see. Oh, got by the first baseman. All right, so let's see if we can hold into a single. Nope, they're going to get a double out of this. Yep, there you go. All right, double. There you go, the D for double. Okay, Thompson's up. There you go. It hit the uh, the wall there. Even oh, they're 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 being aggressive, and it worked. Now look at this. My manager, who was David Johnson at the time, by the way, he's gonna argue. He's kicking. And there you go. Yeah, you can kick dirt. You can say out and save and out and save. Oh, that's great. I forgot all about that. I forgot the arguing. The arguing does nothing. You're not going to change the umpire's mind. It, just like in real life, arguing doesn't change anything. But it's just a fun little extra uh, animation that you get to make it feel like realistic that the uh, manager wasn't happy that it was called safe when it should have been out. But that's that's how baseball is. Up oh, a walk. Uh oh. Two men on, no outs. So it's getting sketchy here in the sixth inning. Yeah, let's see if we can get out of this one. Oh, I think uh, my pl my pitcher's getting a little tired here. Yep, time for a conference. Let's push that C button. Let's see what he says. How's your arm? Arm feels great. He seems okay. So he's getting a little tired because he says okay, but he's still good enough to go on. That's the clue there. You got to look at the words that the, uh, the, the manager is saying. Play the infield normal, look for the double steal, freeze the run on third, then throw to second. There you go. That's what Earl says we should do in this situation. So play normal. We don't have to shift or anything. Just keep it as is. Let's see. All right, so yeah. Let's try for the double play. All right, we got the double play. They got the run, so that's a sacrifice, but we got two outs out of that. So we'll see if that was a smart decision. But too late. What's done is done. We went for the double play. We got the two outs and gave up the run. All right, so now if we can strike him out, we got out of this with little damage. There we go. All right, not bad. Yep, we got out of it. That was fun. I mean, doesn't this feel like a real baseball game? Everything going on here feels like this is exactly what happens in a real baseball game. You know what I mean? The strikes, the strategy, the the blocks, and the pass balls. It feels so realistic. Even the arguing was great. I don't know if you can hit players. I think you can, but I think it's a little hard to do. I think it sort of just automatically happens if it's going to happen. Oh, I swung at a bad one. That was like a, a, a knuckleball or something. Yeah. Oh, I should have hit that one. Down the middle. Yeah, like I said, I should have hit that one. Down the middle. Oh, and I know it's like, yeah, he tricked me on that. Through good pitches and bad pitches. 
All right, McReynolds, let's get something going here. Now that it's only a one-run lead, we're going to try to get a little insurance here if we can. Let's see? Nope. That's a pop-up. Fly out. All right. Now who have we got? Ah, Pojo. All right. Come on, Howard. Let's get a hit going here. He hits a lot of fells, I've noticed. Now the bouncer. Ah, uh, I don't know if that was good or not. Nope, it wasn't. See, that's why you check. And it was a slow pitch too, 81. A lot of fouls, like I said. Oh, there's no wind. Alright, I thought some of these balls were getting blown back in, but no, there's just no wind. Nice quiet day in Flushing, Queens, right? Oh, I thought I was going to bounce her. Darn it. That would have been a good pitch to hit. Alright, here we go to 7th inning, top of the 7th. 3-2 Mets over the Phillies. Alright, so he put two pitchers into the bullpen. That's what that announcement meant. He just announced the two pitchers. And you know, I'm going to do that too. He's, he made a good point. I should get my pitcher around. I'm going to put Roger McDowell. And who else? Let's see. Leach. Yep. Alright, so we got Leach and McDowell in the bullpen. They're cold right now, so they actually have bullpen here. you got to really warm them up before you can use them. It's really cool. So now we both have pitchers in the bullpen. It's the seventh inning already. My pitcher's get, definitely getting tired. He's let up two runs, and his, his throwing is not as good as it used to be. But we'll go as far as we can, because I trust in David Cohn, one of the best pitchers we've ever had. Alright, that's Fell. Uh, all right, yep, it's good. Then we got pitchers warming up. I think it's not going to be too much longer for Cone here. Yeah, let's see if we can get an out out of this at least. I'd like to stretch him a little further. I don't trust the Mets bullpen at all. Yep, you can try to pick him off. Very hard to do. And they're stealing, see? I was on to saying, but I just did a slow pitch, so he's going to be safe. Yeah, there you go. Nope, he's stealing again. Oh, come on. I thought that was an out for sure. All right, this is getting sketchy. We got the strikeout, but they stole two bases now. Look at this. So you can't really throw slow pitches with his men on, I guess, is because Earl's going to take advantage of that every time. Alright, so if we can get out of this with just a tie, we might be alright, but we'll try to get no run scored if possible. So I'm playing a little safe here. Alright, two strikes. We really need a pop-up for a strike out here. There we go. Alright. So now we're in good shape. Two outs. One man on, and Steve Jeltz, who's not very good, is up, so this is good. See, if I was Earl, I would change Jeltz out, but he's going with him. Yep, told you, should have changed him out. Alright, we got out of it. Oof, now, is there a seventh inning stretch? I don't think so. Nope, just goes right to it. See, this is a game that could have had it. I don't know why they didn't give it like a little tune or something when it's seven things true. That would have been fun, but nope. Just gets right back to the game. Nope, Carter's very slow. That's not going anywhere. Oh, now they're having a conference. We don't get to see what's going on in their end because that's the computer. Oh. Uh. It was probably right down the middle. Alright. Took a chance on that one. It looked like a strike, but I was gambling there. Alright, come on. I'm trying to get a walk here. I just want to show you guys a walk, but it might not happen. Nope, but we'll take a hit. 
Alright, one man on, one out. Pitcher. Oh, our pitcher. Oh. Now I have a decision to make. Uh, let's see, you gotta bunt. One run, when you know that one run will win the game. If you get the chance to steal, stolen base will play for one run. So he's saying to bunt. Nope, I think I'm gonna go with a pinch hitter. We have p our pitchers are ready in the bullpen. Let's change them out. Let's see who we have here on the bench. I forgot who was good. We have Lenny Dykstra. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll try him. So we have pinch hitter instead. So I just put in Lenny Dykstra. Cone's day is done. At bat, Len Dykstra. Ooh, he should have hit that one. Oh, that was late on my part. Oh, I'm not paying attention here. Come on. Low. Oh, it was low anyway. Alright, so I probably couldn't hit it. Oh, that would have been nice. Alright, come on, Lenny. Get me a hit. And it dropped. Alright, that's what we needed. Just with the doctor order. Alright, we're going to hold that for a second. They got that ball quickly. So that was a good pinch hit. So that was a good play on my part. Now we gotta have Mookie try to get some. Let's get a little aggressive here. Two men on, one out. Time to, to really move these bases here. Let's go. Alright. Okay, they're not going for the double play. That means they knew they wouldn't have gotten it. So they didn't even bother. Fielder's choice. All right, come on. We need a hit. We're gonna keep aggressive on. Oh, it's a foul. I really need this insurance run. I just have a weird feeling with this Mets bullpen. Believe me, even back then the Mets bullpen was awful. Go through the middle, yes. Come on, go, 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 go. All right, we got that insurance run. That's what we needed. Nice little bloop uh, hit right up the middle. That's exactly what we that, what we uh, wanted. And now we want to try to get another run here. So come on, Keith. Get us another hit. Keep aggressive on. So that screen will come up. When you have it on, it'll keep coming up to remind you because you might have forgotten that you left it on. Oh, oh, he popped it up. All right, so we got one insurance run out of that. That might become very important in this game. Let's see what happens. We're going to the eighth inning now. 4-2 Mets. This is exciting. We have 10 hits. They have eight. No errors. Now I got to change the pitcher. Remember I had Lenny Dykstra in? Up. Oh, so it's telling me, up. Oh, you, you don't have a pitcher. I'm like, oh, yes. So who are we going to put in? Uh, Roger McDowell. Yeah, he was one of our better middle relievers. I'm going to take Leach out. If you keep him too long, they get tired. So you do have to actually take pitchers you're not going to use out of the bullpen. And there we go. So now we have Roger McDowell. Now pitching Roger McDowell at bat, Ricky Norton. All right. So here we go. We both changed our pitchers. It's a brand new game now. Eighth and ninth. We'll see what happens. Oop, clicked that by accident. Alright, so you can definitely see he's not as good as David Cohn, but he's only meant to be a uh, one-inning pitcher. So that's it. So let's see if it holds into the park. See, no wind is definitely helping us. It's keeping all the balls in. That's very helpful here. It shows how powerful Daryl was that he was able to hit it right out of there. Alright, Hayes is up. Yep, see, still no wind. So the idea is we're going to have McDowell pitch the 8th and then we're going to put our closer in for the ninth, and we'll see what happens. With uh, the Mets closer, anything can happen. Even back here in the late 80s, the Mets uh, closers were sketchy at best. So I think if this is realistic, we're going to get another taste of that, but we'll see. It's only a baseball game, who knows, you know? Oh, I thought that was a strike for sure. Oh, no, two balls in a row, that sucked. All right, one man on, do the walk. At bat, Lou Thompson. All right, 
Yep, we okay, good. Two, and now we throw it to second. Yep, we catch him at first. Nope, don't even think about it. All right, good. So far, so good. One man on, two outs. We have a two-run lead. Chris James is up. Now, they're probably going to try to steal. Like I said, the computer loves stealing, but this is such a bad situation to do that. See, they're doing it, but they might be all right. All right, they got it, but still very bad time to be stealing. Oh, my coach is going to argue it again. I think he was safe also, but it's funny that he's arguing that. But it, what a bad time to steal. Like, if you're out, I mean, what are you doing? You're down with two runs. It's a horrible time to actually steal. Well, it didn't matter anyway. Our third base and caught it. So now we go to the bottom of the eighth, and we got uh, some of our better players up here. Earl got Steve Grovian thrown in the pen. Now pitching pen. There you go, you got Tukolvi pitching, not one of their better pitchers. He's 3-7, and seven, one fatigue. And now I'm going to warm up our closer, who I think was... Who was it? Randy Myers, if I remember. Yes, it was Randy Myers. He's our closer. So then we got our closer warming up. We got Tukolvi, who's not one of their better pitchers, so maybe we can get something out of this here. Not if we take a pitch like that. Come on, Daryl. Yep, that was high. Ooh, already two strikes. That's not good. Come on, Daryl. Try to get a hit out of this. Ah, uh, nope. Three pitch strikeout. Oh, well. Alright, Kevin. It's up to you now. It was a strike at least. So at least I swung at a good pitch. Let's see if I can run this out. No, I'm too slow. McReynolds is a slow runner too. Very top-heavy type of player. All right, Hojo, let's come on, let's get a home run. He has 24 home runs on the season, so I know he can do it. Up oh, there we go. It's going, going at the warning track. Oh, that would have been nice for Hojo. Oh well. All right, so we go to the top of the night. This is it. We gotta try to get three outs here and win this game. And we'll give McDowell another player just to see how he's doing. He has a fatigue of two. We have a two-run lead. Let's see what happens here. All right, so far, not too good. We might have to go to our closer soon. All right, there we go. We just got the corner there. Uh-oh, three and one. Yep, we might have to go to our closer soon. Let's have a conference to see what's happening here. Seems okay to me, so he's already getting tired. Well, he only has a two fatigue, so that makes sense. Right, we'll try another pitch here. All right, three and two. Come on, Roger. No, a we'll walk. All right, maybe we should have gone with the closer. Yep, time to go with the closer. I don't, I don't like where this is going. Let's get Randy Myers right in there. Try to close out this game. And we'll warm up. Uh, who else did we have? Re Leach, yeah. Yeah, I remember him being decent. Okay. Alright, one man on, no outs. Let's put a closer in. Alright. Oh no, it's a bloop. Oh boy, I'm, this is really feeling like a Mets night inning here. No outs. We have our closer in. Two men on. Uh I'm getting flashbacks here, folks. As a Mets fan, you don't understand how familiar this this whole situation is. This is like everything a Mets fan had to go through. Like, you can't just get three outs. No, it had to be bases loaded. It had to be, you know, lucky plays to get out. It, it was so crazy. And this is reliving it all again. All the memories are coming back to me. You Mets fans know exactly what I'm talking about. I can't believe I have Randy Myers, who was actually one of our better closers. Not great, but one of our better closers. And... It's happening again. Well, let's see if we can <laughs> hopefully hold on here. I'm getting nervous, actually. Oh, no. Three and two. Come on, Randy. Throw that pitch here. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yep, this is a typical bets game, folks. Base is loaded, no out with our closer in, in the ninth inning. All right, Lance Parrish is up. Not one of the better hitters. Let's see if we can get him at least. 
Yeah, now we have to hope to get a double play and just give up a run. We're at that point now. Can you believe it? Well, a strikeout would be nice, though. Let's see. Nope. Pop up. Even better. We'll take it. Alright, so we have a shot here. Went out, and now if we can get a double play, we're out of this. And they got Jelts up, not one of their better players. Come on. Vesper would be laughing at this, because he loves making fun of the Mets and their history like this, where they, they can't even get three outs in the ninth thing. That foul ball. All right, okay, we uh, we might have gotten out of this. Two outs, bases loaded. Uh oh, he took out the pitcher. He put in Mike Young, who's not that great. I think we have a shot here. Let's see what happens. All right, get a little curveball. That's a foul. I'll try another curve. Okay, all right. I think we might have gotten out of this, folks. Two strikes already. There we go. A curve again. Another foul. Oh, a ball. Alright. Come on, Myers. Don't do anything crazy here. There we go. Oh, no! And it's a hit. Oh, no. We gotta hold the damage to one run. Right, is he going for it? No. Alright, so they got that run. Uh-oh. But, like I said, we got that insurance run not too long ago, so that really is helping us here. So, 4-3. to three, Mets over the Phillies now. Let's see what happens. Hayes is up. Uh-oh. We're in a lot of trouble here. We gotta get an out any way we can. That's what this game has come down to now. Okay, strike. Oh, this is such a Mets game. You don't understand the stress I'm feeling right now. Oh no! If you walk him, I, I, I'm in it. Okay, two strikes. Come on. Oh boy, I'll take an out any way we can get it out here. Here we go. Let's try to get that out. Ah, oh, foul ball. Okay, it lives on for another pitch. Here we go. Throw to first, quick! Yes! And we get the victory music. Alright, so the Mets win 4-3. to three. <laughs> And that's a, a nail biter right there. They had bases loaded, ninth inning with our closer in, but we squeaked it out. 4-3, to three. Mets win, yay! What a game. That was a lot of fun. Felt like old times again. This is what this is why this is such a fun game. So realistic, so intense. It really has so much strategy involved. But there you go. Mets squeaked it out 4 to 3. Now you get the uh, victory screen here. So you see the game-winning RBI with Strawberry. He hit the home run. We got the save with Myers. Cone got the win. The attendance was 55,000. I forgot Shea Stadium held that, that many people. And you can look at all the stats afterwards. Like, if you want to see how everyone did, here's how the whole Mets team did. Strawberry had a home run. Backman was 3 for 4. Wilson was 2 for 4. Uh, what did we have? We had six strikeouts. And we were uh, caught stealing once. I don't remember stealing, but I guess they count that as that. Yeah, so there you go. You can look at the stats after the game, which is so cool. This feels like a real like newspaper. Remember the old school newspapers? They used to show you all these stats and everything after a game happened. And there was our pitching. So we, Cohen did very well. He did seven innings. McDowell let up a run. And then Myers came in for the save afterwards. What do we have? Five walks, eight strikeouts. So pretty good. And you can look at the other team. So they had Gross into Covey. And uh, Gross got the loss because he let up the four runs. He had five strikeouts, though, so not too bad. And he also had that balk. Remember the balk from before? Yep. And you can look at their batting, too. Let's see. Yep, there you go. They didn't have any home runs. The park kept a lot of those in. But two doubles for Hayes. Yeah, pretty good. So they, they had some good hitting. And there you go. And you can print it if you want to. You can... Uh, update the stats like i said you can do like a real league here you can like really do a whole season 162 game season if you wanted to and save it and update it and keep on adding to it so you can start with all fresh stats on every player and then it'll update the stats every time you play here so there you go yep finish without updating i don't care this is just for fun i don't need to update anything and there you go that was earl weaver baseball i can't stress enough how much fun this game is one of my favorites. It definitely brought back all the memories of why I loved playing this game so much. I played with friends. I built my own leagues. 
I created my own players. I mean, I did so many things with it. I probably still have the disc somewhere. I don't have the Amiga anymore, but I think I still have my disc somewhere. So if I'm ever able to access those again, maybe I can load up my old team again and show you guys what I used to do with this game. So much fun. If you want a real baseball game from the mid-80s, have I got the game for you? Earl Weaver Baseball on the Amiga computer. One of the best ever made. Yes, it's not graphically intense, and yes, it doesn't have all the features that all the new ones want, but if you want a good classic retro game, you can't do any better than Earl Weaver Baseball on the Commodore Amiga. That was the game. Thank you for joining me. We'll have more baseball goodness. Me and Vesper are definitely going to play a game together. Vesper will be back to join me for more commentary soon on this. He likes to do the commentary. He just wasn't available, and I wanted to do my favorite game here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, everybody. We want to see you here. We thank you for all the support we've had as of late. We know you guys love this stuff. We're going to keep the retro goodness coming. More baseball games on your way. More of everything on your way. We'll see you next time. We have another great baseball game in store in our baseball retrospective. We're going to try to look at at least 20 of our favorite baseball games from the past all the way to the early to mid 2000s all right see you all next time don't forget to like comment subscribe and as Vesper always says ring that bell that's all for now play ball bye everybody